Okay. So write the notation for a cell with the electrode reactions given here. And of course this, this uh, double arrow means this. The, they can go either way, at least for now, until we put them together. Now it just wants the notation. So the first thing you do, you have to balance it as a regular reaction. So two electrons here, so this is the reduction. This is the oxidation, so uh, we need two electrons here, two, two, and two, then add them up. And you can actually skip all, you could, you could write the notation from those half, uh, half reactions as is. Um, but I'm gonna write it out just so we can see when we write the notation, we can see the overall reaction. So, now it's just a forward arrow because we're assuming we're going to uh, completion here. That is pretty reactive. Uh, let's see, so, yeah, that it would be a, a fairly uh, spontaneous reaction. Now, um, the cell notation, what we do is we put the oxidation on the left side and the oxidation is lithium solid, uh, goes to lithium plus. The single bar indicates that there is a, a phase change, so solid to aqueous. Then we put a double bar or a double line to indicate the salt bridge uh, is present. We're, we're going to always assume we have a salt bridge. And then we have the reduction on the other side. The copper uh, goes to copper metal. So all of the information that we have here and in these two half cell reactions are also is present in this cell notation. So you make sure you have the oxidation on, on the left side, the reduction on the right. So it's in order as it would be in the reaction. The lithium does turn into lithium plus. The copper two ion is the reactant and it becomes copper metal. And uh, that should be about it here. Now, for this one, we have a gas. And so that's going to mean something to us in aqueous here. And then we have the lead. Now the number of electrons are uh, match up, so we don't have to do any further uh, attempt to balance. Then we have lead ion and then two chloride ions. Now the, the chloride is reduced and the lead is oxidized, so we put the lead on the, on the left. And then we have the chlorine gas reacts to form chloride. Now notice we don't put the two there. Uh, the notation uh, is we want the least amount of information and we're going to, you know, anyone looking at this will say, well, there obviously there has to be at least a two here. Maybe uh, we have to even do, multiply this by two and this by four to balance what's happening over here. We, we see that we don't have to, but you know that we're going to have to put a coefficient in front of there. So there's, that's not a problem. Now the thing is that it's a gas and there's no such, uh, such thing as a solid chlorine electrode. So what we do use instead is an electrode that is a catalyst and generally it's platinum. So if you see a gas that in, is involved, uh, like hydrogen or chlorine or bromine, uh, it's going to platinum, a platinum catalyst is going to be used, or a catalyst, but we're going to use it. And notice the bar here indicates a phase change. So we have gas, aqueous, and solid. You don't normally put a solid here. Platinum speaks for itself. We know that it's a catalyst. So we have to um, put that extra line in there, and it's happening in the reduction, so it goes over here. If it ha happened in the oxidation, we'd put the platinum uh, first over on the other side. So be careful. <clears throat> then, now we go backwards. We have write the overall cell reactions from the following notations, okay? So this is our oxidation, so just write it out. And then we'll worry about balancing later. Now I'm just gonna write a single arrow, even though here it could go for, uh, back or forwards, but um, since it's part of this reaction, we know that it does go forward, so there's only, we might as well just put the that uh, right facing arrow. Then we have the nickel is reduced, so the electrons are on the left side. Then we have nickel solid. The electrons balance out, so they're going to cancel. They have the same coefficient, so that's good. And so the overall is this.
Okay, how about this one? So we have nickel uh, goes to nickel 2 ion plus 2 electrons. And then for silver, silver is what is reduced. So that's one electron goes to silver metal. So we have to multiply through by 2 to balance out the electrons. If, if these electrons are given off, they must, we must uh, accept the same amount in a balanced reaction. We have nickel plus two, two silver. Just make sure you put the phases in there and everything is fine.